Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use AWS DynamoDB with a Flask application. So I have created this website with a registration page and a login page. This is the login page. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to use DynamoDB to create a new user and we are going to log in with that particular uh, user credentials. All right. So in the DynamoDB, uh, right now I have a table named as users and in that table I have one user that's me Aniket Vattamar with the password as Aniket all right now what I will do is I will log in in this account right now password was Aniket login. so it says welcome Aniket Vattamar this is your home page so this can be your home page all right Uh, now what we do is we all we also had a registration page so we will create a new user now so uh, you can say Elon ask email Elon at gmail and our password can be Tony Stark and uh, I have not given any functionality to this particular check button as of now so it doesn't do anything so it, now it says registration complete please log into your account right so let's check whether our new user was created or not in the table so i have one user now let's refresh now we have two users elon musk and the password is tony stark let's log in So it says welcome Elon Musk and this is your home page right so uh, let's look uh, at the code now how we can do this so before we uh, get into the flask part uh, I'm going to create a table so as you had seen earlier I had the uh, table name as users I, I created a table using this particular uh, script uh, before we uh, run the script we also need to connect our AWS account and also the AWS service that we are going to use so for that particular uh, connection we are going to use Boto3 alright and uh, you have to provide the access key ID secret access key and uh, session token uh, if you are using an educate account like me uh, you will find the uh, keys on this account details button click on show so you will get all the uh, credentials from here right so copy this and then you can paste it here directly okay uh, uh, I'm actually uh, using this the keys from another file which is the key config file and I'm importing that file and then uh, I'm using the keys all right but you can directly put it here also it's one and the same thing yes uh, now we create a table so we already uh, have a table uh, called as users and I have taken this script uh, this particular snippet from the Boto3 documentation part so so this is this this is the documentation I will provide the link of this uh, this particular documentation in the description below so we already have a table as users now we'll create another table that is user data all right save and then we run let's give this some time So it says zero because uh, right now I'm printing the items in that particular table. So we do not have any items in that table, right? So it says zero. Now we go to our uh, Dynamo service and we will refresh to see whether our table was created or not. 
so we have now two tables user data also and in user data we do not have any items as of now all right so this is how you create a table uh, from your python script now let's look at the flask part Here also I'm uh, connecting my AWS account and the DynamoDB service using Boto3. Alright. Let's look at the main function now. So whenever the user is creating his own account, we have a button uh, that, that is a sign up button. So when the user uh, fills all the details and clicks on the sign up button, this particular function is triggered now. And in this function, I have a request method. So here it is a post method and uh, the the details that the user has entered in the registration form we are going to uh, we are going to accept that and we are going to store store those those entries in uh, different variables that is name email and password all right now we need to connect our table uh, so we the, the table was user so we have connected the connected our table also now we have a function called as put item so this particular function is going to actually insert your data into the dynamodb table which is the users all right so in the table i have three columns name email and password and the corresponding entity that i need to fill will be what the user has uh, entered during the registration which is the name and which we are uh, retrieving from the form all right and when this particular uh, uh, function is executed we have we also have a message that says registration is complete please log into your account and then we return return the login page uh, with that message all right this is how you create a new account and this is the backend part of uh, adding data to your dynamodb service all right so uh, maybe we can create another account now again So uh, let's say uh, maybe who else? Mm. Captain Pony Stark, uh, Robert. Password will be Stark. And I know. So it says registration complete. Please log into your account. Let's refresh to see whether our user was created or not. Yes, Robert with the name Tony Stuck. Yes, so this the sign up sign up is working. Now let's look at the login part. So once you're redirected to the login page, now what you need to do is you need to take uh, you need to uh, compare the data that the user has entered with the database. All right, with the entries that we have in the table. So uh, when the user clicks on the login button, this particular function is triggered now. And here also we have a request method, which is the post method. All right. And from the form, we are, we are taking two values. That is the email and the password from the user. Yes. Uh, then we will connect our table, uh, which is the user's table again. Now we need to write a query, which uh, gets all the data of that particular user so we had uh, we had entered the name email and password while registration so when we are retrieving the data we are going to compare the email this particular email which the user has ent entered with the email that we already have in our database right so if they if they match it's going to retrieve all the data that is uh, user that is the name email id and password and it's going to store that in the in response Yes, and if you want to view that, we are we are going to use response items, and in items we will have a list that contains the name, user name, email ID, and password. Right. 
now uh, to authentic authenticate whether the same user is login login into his own account or not we are going we have a if statements which which checks the password so this password is what the user has entered from the login page and items zero and password is what we have in the database database so if this matches then we are going to uh, redirect that user to the to his own home.html page that and we are going to return the name of that person that is why when you uh, log logged in uh, elon musk account you have, you got that particular welcome message at the top which says welcome elon musk so this is the name that you are uh, putting on the uh, front end part right so this is the uh, back end part of the login and checking whether the same user is login is a uh, login into his own account or not so so right now we created tony stark let's log in it says welcome tony stark all right so we have this particular dynamo db service working with our flask application uh, this might uh, seem very easy it is easy but uh, this is basic uh, read and write operations that you need to understand because whenever you're creating uh, huge uh, applications you're going to interact with the database a lot because the user is going to interact with the website so the user is actually uh, going to put something on your website which you need to store it in your database or uh, the user is going to download something from your website which you need to uh, retrieve from the database for the user right so this particular read and write oper operations are uh, extensively used in bigger applications so you are going to use the same code again and again as per your application all right so this is what i wanted to show you in this particular video uh, it's very simple uh, i have this I have, I have the link to this code on my github you can check that uh, if you uh, want me to make some other changes if you want me to create a full applications you can tell us in the comments of uh, in the comment section below all right that's it then thank you